Hi everyone and welcome to another Pickups episode. Um, I've got quite a bit to show you today. Um, a nice CEX haul. I haven't done one for a while. As I don't go there as I, much as I usually do. But I did, did go um, just about a few days ago, a few weeks ago, something like that. Because um, I, I had a lot of controllers to trade in. So the orders have been coming over for the last month. Um, I had a load of Xbox 360 controllers, um, Wii controllers, Xbox One pads, PS3 pads, um, Mario games because they went up for a, a little bit of time and then they went back down I think three days later so I think there was 8, 12, eight, 12 trade-ins on the Mario Karts for the DS and 9, I think it was 10 cash, uh, I think 10 trade for the new Super Mario Bros on the DS. I had about 10 of them each so I slowly fed them in into the system and I got a nice chunk of it, joint credit. I got 25 each for the Xbox One pads and 28 for the PS4 pads and 14 each for the other stuff and 8 for the Wii remotes. And I had a nice chunk of credit to use and I bought some things that I would not... I still had the carbon maybe a long time ago but someone else got the way before me. But I managed to get them today. For probably about, probably about a quarter of the price or less. That's what the stuff probably cost me in the end. The remotes and all that. Um, they were really good value. People think CX is overcharged. But some of the prices are very spot on or just about under. If you can get it in fantastic condition you're getting a very good deal. Um, I never go for mint unless I see it myself. Um, I, I mainly go for boxed or unboxed. And I bought these. Um, I got three copies of this. This would be sold on because I found a price scarcity. I think it was twelve pound, and they're worth about twenty-five quid each. As I sell these when I get them all day long. And that is um, Project Miku Diva Second F. Um, it's a very good title. If you haven't played it, it's a good rhythm game. I think I've got two copies for myself and three to move on. <laughs> An awesome game, but if you haven't tried it out, you should try it out. It's, it's very good, and it's only still twelve pound in CX. Grab them while you can, because it's still of a deal. And now we're going to some of my other favourite pickups that I got from the bundle: some nice high-end PS1 titles, um, which I will show you in a sec. First comes some GameCube titles that I'll be selling on, because I had some spare credit, and I thought it was only four or five quid per item, so I thought, why not? Here's the arms right now. Nothing crazy. Um, tick, I think that cost me four quid past one pound fifty postage. Um, super Buster Move, um, that's about a fifteen pound title. I think I got for four quid yet again. I think this one's complete though. They're all complete, very very nice condition. I probably asked fourteen ninety nine for it. As I usually sell these on good money because if you spot bargains. It's a good deal. Now we're going to go on to the PS1 titles. Here they are, some nice CEX bargains. You probably thought, oh, they are expensive, but they actually are very cheap deals in CEX. I got this one for 88 quid. Retails for about 1 to 120, so still cheap. If you can get it mint, you probably can get it at a steel price. I got two copies of this because I, I, I always played the roulette. Sometimes you get it without manual, sometimes you get it with that. One came with manual, one didn't come with manual. I'll be selling the one without manual on. And I'll be keeping the one with the manual uh, in my collection. And here it is. Two copies of Rapid Reload. So very rare game. It reminds me a lot of Wild Arms, weirdly, the front cover. It does look like a lot like the Wild Arms front cover though. It's nice to have in the collection. I've been after this title for about maybe a couple of years now. Just I saw it a couple of years ago. I've never seen that at the car boot. I've seen so Dokun and quite a few uh, Tombies and all that, but I've, I've never seen this title. So I thought might as well grab it for 88 quid. Uh, retails for about 120, so it's a bit steal of a price, and there's not many copies what pop up on eBay. Um, and here's the other copy, the one with the manual. What I'll be keeping in my collection, the other one will be sewed on. So very nice. It's all complete, I'll show you. All complete, very nice condition. So very happy about that. 
I'll be going straight in the collection. And it wouldn't be something that I've wanted for a while. Like I mentioned that car boot, I missed out on it a long time ago. But I've still got this for 70 quid. It doesn't have its manual, but it'll do until I can get an upgrade. That is Stoken for the PS1. It all came with they always put bubble wrap in it lately, I don't know why. Still got cracked there. <laughs> I don't think that, but uh, but still not bad condition for 70 quid. As I check online, they usually go for about 70 to 120, depends on condition online. So it's not a bad price yet again. I probably could find the manual one day. I do find rare manuals. I think I found Zelda one. I have found some quite good manuals. So I'll probably find the manual for that eventually. So happy. And that'll be going straight in the collection, unless I can find a double. I uh, hope you enjoyed this quick video, the first one of the year. <laughs> hope you enjoyed, like, comment and subscribe, and thanks for watching guys.